Westminster was founded in 1972 and by God's grace, uh, and it is by God's grace, uh, is still thriving even today. Over 200 people faithfully attend every week. And the thing about Westminster is there's no gimmicks. We're not trying to entertain people. It's simply people who want to know and enjoy the Lord God, want to learn and, and study God's Word and to want to follow after Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I'm Stephen Warhurst, the Associate Pastor of Westminster Presbyterian Church, and I do a lot of teaching here. And in all that teaching, the Word of God is the foundation. From Genesis to Revelation, we believe it all. And we seek to build our lives on that Word. The adult Sunday school class is a place where we dig deeper into God's Word. We examine a portion of God's Word in depth. We ask hard questions. We seek to apply the text to our lives. We, we want God's Word to teach us how to think, to shape our desires and affections, to teach us how to live. We believe the truth of God's Word applies to all of life. Well, since God's Word applies to all of life, we champion Christian education. Each week, we offer classes at the church taught from a biblical worldview. I've, I've taught logic, speech, debate, and influential books of Western civilization. Others have taught history, chemistry, biology. And through these classes, we assist parents in that vital work of raising children in the fear and admonition of the Lord. If you're interested to know what we believe here at Westminster, then the Westminster Confession would be a helpful place to start. A Trinitarian, Christ-centered, cross-centered, salvation by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, confessional document. We are blessed at Westminster to have a lot of children in our congregation, and we view children as a vital part of our covenant community. To that end, we offer an excellent nursery for infants and toddlers, and we have amazing Sunday school classes for ages 2 through 12. In our younger Sunday school classes, children are taught Bible stories and scripture memorization and the children's catechism. Our older Sunday school classes delve deeper into Bible truth and study and memorize the shorter catechism. And while all of our Sunday school teachers employ a different teaching style and different techniques, we all have one goal and that is to create a warm and welcoming environment for children where they feel valued as they learn about Christ and His love for them. Here at Westminster we also hold to what we call the regulative principle of worship. And that simply means that we want to worship the way and only the way that we see in the Word of God. And so the reading and teaching and preaching of the Bible, celebrating the sacraments, baptism and the Lord's Supper, offering up prayer and confessions of sin and singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, you could add to that the fellowship of God's people. These are the things that we see in the Word of God and prioritize here. My name is David Salisbury and I'm a ruling elder at Westminster Presbyterian Church. In 1 Peter 5, the apostle exhorts the elders to shepherd the flock to which they've been given. So we take that seriously at Westminster and that's one of the roles of the elders, to serve as shepherds under Christ. One of the things that we do is we work hard to make sure that the three true marks of a church are met within Westminster. And those would be right preaching of the word, the proper administration of the sacraments, and biblical church discipline. Those are marks of a true church that we try to exercise here. Here at Westminster, there are many opportunities for the women to fellowship, study, serve, and grow together. Our ladies' Bible studies provide a wonderful opportunity to learn together and to encourage one another with a focus on God's Word as our foundation for all truth. Morning and evening study options are available to accommodate different schedules. Other fellowship opportunities include ladies' dinners, 
baby showers and bridal showers, along with opportunities to serve the congregation, such as providing meals for those in need. We have many activities throughout the year, both with young adults and the whole family. We have many young people meetings to where we can discuss worldview, our questions, and concerns. We meet weekly to play Frisbee, and there are lots of game nights throughout the year where we can fellowship and laugh and have fun with our fellow young believers. We also meet once a year at the end of the school season for BWC Biblical Worldview Student Conference. The lectures are always super sanctifying, and it's many young people's favorite time of year. And there's also events for the whole family. They're always lots of fun. We have picnics, hikes, river floats, game nights, and a fall and spring conference, which they both are amazing. Those activities are always lots of fun, and the fellowship is amazing. We never forget that our chief end is to glorify God. We would love for you to come and share in the grace and love God has given our community. My name is Nathan Franklin. I'm a member at uh, Westminster Presbyterian Church. And uh, the one thing that I really love about the church is the community aspect of it. Um, the, the people here are my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I've been coming here for about 14 years and when our family come in, we were accepted, we were loved. And this is a congregation that, that legitimately shares in one another's uh, burdens. We cry together, we laugh together, uh, we, we rejoice, and uh, you will notice a difference in Westminster uh, when you come. God has established this church. Uh, it's His church, and by His grace, He is blessing this church. If you're watching this video, I would encourage you, if you can, to come and visit us, to come and worship the Lord with us, to come and feed upon His Word, and to hear about the good news of Jesus Christ and the cross of Christ and of sins forgiven. Come and meet God's people. Come and serve God amongst the people here you'll be sure to receive a warm welcome.